Got my 2015 Kia Sedona here, and we could hear a sound when driving. And look what we got dragging there. It uh, had too many run-ins with the curb when parking the car, and then we could hear it, you know, scraping the curb when we start to back out. And I guess it uh, it just couldn't take it. So let's just remove this stupid cover that is way too low and scrapes on the curb anyway. Uh, let's get this started. So one thing you're gonna see are these. They got a Phillips head screw on them, but they are not a screw. These things you just kind of get to screw out a little bit and then you can pull it out. It's a, it's kind of a, a tab that locks when you uh, screw in the screw. Anyhow, you're gonna see these all along this. A lot of mine are broke off. So if you look here, I, I got one there, but put some light on that. That's what the top side of it looks. So when that screws in all the way, it pushes out these, uh, it flares out these ends and then makes it stay in. So when you put the screwdriver to it, you're gonna probably need to use two hands because the uh, um, the thing's gonna want to spin both the screw and the other part. This one's actually not. So this one's actually letting you unscrew the screw. So once it gets out far enough, those flared out parts are not gonna flare out anymore. And then you can just go uh, uh, wiggle it out, and there you go. So remove all those that are up along this thing. So you may come across one of these that uh, it just spins the whole thing, just like that. And uh, we don't cry on this channel, we just figure it out, do some problem solving. So, what I was doing, kind of hold on to the outer edge while unscrewing it. Which doesn't completely work, because if you're putting too much pressure on this screw, it keeps it up in there. We don't like it to stay up in there. So, but it does give you a little bit of a lip. To, oh, finally get a fingernail under it like that. So with that fingernail, I can kind of pry down on the screw and turn it. Oh, there it goes. Now it's got some grip. It's a it's coming out. And then um, once you get enough of the screw out. Then, you will be able to pull it out of the hole. Blah! So there are some plain screws also. Here's one uh, along the outside edge of this cover here. And this one was just right up here. It is a metal screw. And some of them actually got uh, yanked out so there's where one would have gone up through the cover and into this but it uh, it got stripped out of the thing when the cover got tugged on by the curb so go around the edge and remove all those screws so after removing uh, some of these locking screws and uh, some of these regular screws I was able to get the cover off but we had some genius engineers and these genius engineers they made the wheel well cover go down and fold around as all one piece with this but they didn't give this anywhere to connect except for that stupid cover so now we got these things just hanging here I'm not going to take the entire wheel well cover off all right so since our engineering friends have thrown this little uh, stone in our path we have got this fancy tool called a I call it a zip tie wire tie whatever you want to call it and we're going to 
wire tie this stupid thing up since they did not give us anywhere to secure it with a screw or one of those other things. This should do the trick. Look at that. Fantastic. Let's do the other side. All right, and we got the other side here. We're just going to do the fancy maneuver we did before. And it's up there. And then you're going to want to take this and snip it. It was not too dull. There we go. And I do have uh, an edge here that goes under a little bit. But I do actually have this thing to put back. Because we're not going to. Uh, so if you're going to put one of these back, if you took out uh, too many, you're going to need to unscrew the uh, screw from it if it's already pushed in all the way. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Okay, so now it's squishy. I'll put it up in there. And you don't even need to screw it in. You can just go... And look at that. It's locked in place. Look. Done. Now the only problem I can see that you could run into with this is when you got your skilled mechanics that come down here and clip your zip tie to get to whatever they need to underneath this cover. And then they don't put their zip they don't put and then they don't put your zip tie back on. So you may uh want to double check this every time you take it to the shop just to make sure they didn't just leave it hanging. Thanks for watching.